Hi everybody, and welcome to the award ceremony for the 2022 Lexington Invitational. My name is Jamie Yu, and I'm an engineering lead on the Lexington Science Olympiad team. I was a, co I was a co director of this Invitational along with these other people. Hi, I'm Annabelle, and I'm a junior. I'm also the academic lead for LHS Science Olympiad, and this year I event supervised for environmental chemistry in Bridge. Hi, this is Erin Kim. I'm a senior at Lexington High School, and this is my second year being a tournament director for Lexo. Hi, my name is Daisy. I'm a senior, and I'm one of the captains of LHS Scioli. First off, I would like to give a huge thanks to each and every one for 52 event supervisors. This event would not have been possible without any of you. Next, I would like to give thanks to our two club advisors, Ms. Weissman and Mr. Duncan. I'd also like to thank the Olympiad developers, Peter Huang and Tuan Dong. And last, but certainly not least, I'd like to thank Jason Chang, a senior at West Windsor, West, West Windsor Plainsboro High School for his technical assistance the whole way through. And now onto some statistics about our tournament. Our 58 teams came from 16 states all over the country. Most states brought just one or two teams, but California brought an astonishing 23 teams and our home state of Massachusetts came in second, with nine teams. The closest team was William Diamond Middle School, just under one mile from our own high school. The furthest team was Iolani School, from Hawaii, at just over 5,000 miles away. At our Invitational, we had a 48-hour open test-taking block. Our first test was taken just over one hour after the test period started, at 1.17 in the morning and our last test was finished less than two minutes before the testing period closed. Some of you guys cut it a little bit close. When I ran the numbers for your participation, I was astounded. Our 58 teams from 33 schools brought 870 students. You guys took a total of 778 tests and earned just under 200,000 points. You guys answered just under 46,000 questions that the event supervisors then had to grade. This meant that each student on average answered 52.83 questions and each event supervisor graded on average 883 questions. And of course, we have to award the teams that participated in the most events. For Division B, this was Longfellow Middle School and Frank S. Green Middle School, both of which participated in 28 out of 28 of the events provided, trials included. For Division C, this award goes to Castro Valley, who participated in 28 of the 30 offered events. And now, onto some puns from Science Pun Fun, for which we held a live round last night where teams got a pun off against each other. Your topic for this round is marine animals. What is the saddest animal? A whale. Uh, can you help me think of a better pun? If fish could move on land, how would they move? They would trout. Wait, did you already say your pun and I didn't hear you? Oh um, no, we don't have a pun. Where do oxes drink water? Oxbell lakes. My reign as queen atop the mountain was powerful. The best type of tree is an aquifer. What did the water say when this, uh, when the other water asked him? I just like to go with the flow. What was the lake's favorite type of t-shirt? Tie-dye. Uh. Stone pun? I'm, I'm really sorry. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, yeah. I'm, like, my happy announce that you're out. What is the poorest clown around Pennywise? What's the most self centered aspect of business? Ego, no me. Economy. What is, what is the cheapest show around Nickelodeon? 
a very good pun, I must admit. But unfortunately, it's not related to money. Um, so we have our third place to green. Call a magical artist, uh, Harry Potter. Um, this is, uh, your art teacher is too toxic. You need to draw a line. I, I'm really sorry, but I do not think that is a valid pun for this round. And unfortunately, Diamond loses to Clark. How do plants eat dinner? They chlorophyll themselves with food. What do plants say to each other at Christmas time? Have a holly, jolly Christmas. What do you get when you cross a plant with a crustacean? The Krebs cycle. How do plants scare each other at Halloween? They say bamboo. How do Spanish speaking plants express gratitude? Gracias. Why did the chef's cake turn out bad? He forgot the flour. What's the plant's favorite instrument? The xylem phone. What did the tree say when it wanted to be by itself? Leave me alone. Man, these puns are pretty good. I'm getting pretty stressed out. It's messing up my flow -um. Banana was used in the exact same way though. So unfortunately, although it's brilliant, Acton, you're eliminated from this competition and Cavill moves on to the next round. Oh, handshake. <laughs> Yo, Arthur might come. Get Arthur. Yo, Arthur. <laughs> Um, just a warning, these puns are going to be pretty crude. That was pretty slick of you. Wow, things are really heating up now. I mean, I'm really having to dig pretty deep for these. Yeah, we really need to refine these puns. I, I think I don't have one this time. Unfortunate. <laughs> I'm going to get absolutely smashed, and I already know that, because I can't make, like, a singular pun. I was talking to Sophia. Wait, wait. If you do, it's Ocean Bowl Revenge, and if you don't, then you're just better. I don't know. topic is, get ready, the topic is ships. Oh! You're yeah. not That's unfair. That's that's so fair. Let's I, go. I decided this topic like last night before I knew this would happen. Dude, I did an entire project on shipping, reimagining the shipping industry. A customer and a ship salesman are discussing a ship. The customer asks, does it have cargo space? The salesman replies, car no go space, cargo road, rocket ship go space. Y'all um, are acting awfully polar stern. Oh, I gotta smile a little bit more, you know, acted. What happens when a ship dies? Everyone holds a wake. I appreciate you guys' enterprising spirit, but I don't think it's going to cut it this time. Enterprise is a boat name. It is a ship name. Which is... Did you know it? I. What's enterprise? I think I'm starting to tanker. I use tanker. We literally just use that. Tanker yeah. is, uh, well, is since death. Acton, you guys lost to two people. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> it's an ocean ball all over again. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Jamie, you told me that you couldn't make puns, and then you just carried that round. Like, what? I need to finger out a better pun. What actor was named after a hand? Philangelina Jolie. Honestly, I think you nailed that one. You're so cute, Nicole. I think we need to spend some time pinking out better puns. Why couldn't the hand get into the talent show? 
They want admitting him. Unfortunately, that is also a repeat. Someone has mentioned grasp before. So, unfortunately, Cabell is eliminated, and our Science Fun Fun Division C champion is Belmont High School. Congratulations. And finally, on the awards. For awards, the top six teams in Division B and the top three teams in Division C will be announced. At the end, the top 10 teams from Division B and the top five teams from Division C will be announced as well. You will be ranked once with builds and once without. For our first event, Anatomy and Physiology. Division B. In sixth place, Venado Middle School, Gold Knights. In fifth place, Boston Latin School. In fourth place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Red. In third place, Stoller Middle School. In second place, Jonas Clark Middle School, Flying Muffins. And in first place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Black. And now on to Division C. In third place, Belmont Public High School. In second place, the Bronx High School of Science, Bronx Science A. And in first place, Acton Boxborough Regional High School. And now on to Bioprocess Lab. In sixth place, we have Kennedy Middle School, Team Ruby. In fifth place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Red. In fourth place, Longfellow Middle School. In third place, William Diamond Middle School, Team Diamond. In second place, Boston Latin School. And in first place, Sierra Vista, Team Black. And now on to awards for cell biology. In sixth, in third place, we have Homestead High School, Team Moose. In second place, we have Acton Boxborough Regional High School. And in first place, we have the Bronx High School of Science, Team A. And now on to awards for Bridge. For Division B, in sixth place, we have Team Longfellow. In fourth place, Frank S. Green Middle School, Team Blue. In fourth place, Slauson Middle School. In third place, Garnet Valley Middle School, Team C. In second place, Frank S. Green Middle School, Team Red. And in first place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Black. And now on to awards for Division C. In third place, we have Lincoln Southwest High School, Southwest. In second place, we have Lake Braddock High School. And in first place, we have Castro Valley High School. And now on to Chemistry Lab. For Division C, in third place, Davidson Academy of Nevada. In second place, the Bronx High School of Science. And in first place, Acton Boxborough Regional High School. And now on to Code Busters. For Division B, in sixth place, we have Iolani School, Science O's. In fifth place, Garda Valley Middle School, Team C. In fourth place, Frank S. Green Middle School, Team Blue. In third place, Garda Valley Middle School, Team A. In second place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Black. And in first place, Longfellow Middle School. And now, on the results for Division C. In third place, we have Lake Braddock High School. In second place, we have the Bronx High School of Science, Team B. And in first place, we have Acton Boxborough Regional High School. And now on to awards for Crave the Wave. In sixth place, we have Team Slauson. In fifth place, Stoller Middle School. In fourth place, Iolani School, Shower Curtain. In third place, we have Rancho San Joaquin, Rancho Middle School 2. In second place, we have Frank S. Green Middle School, Team Blue. And in first place, we have Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Black. And now, on the Wi-Fi Lab. In third place, we have Acton Boxborough Regional High School. In second place, Mason High School, Mason Green. And in first place, we have Castro Valley High School. And now, on the awards for Crime Busters. In sixth place, we have Rancho San Joaquin, Rancho Middle School 2. 
In fifth place, we have Frank S. Green Middle School, Team Blue. In fourth place, we have Stoller Middle School. In third place, Kennedy Middle School, Kennedy Ruby. In second place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Black. And in first place, Longfellow Middle School. And now on to forensics. In third place, we have the Bronx High School of Science, Bronx Science B. In second place, Lake Braddock High School. And in first place, Mason High School, Team Green. And now on to awards for detector building. In third place, we have the Bronx High School of Science, Team B. In second place, Belmont High School. And in first place, Castro Valley High School. And now on to awards for disease detectives. In division B, for sixth place, we have Stoller Middle School. In fifth place, Rancho San Joaquin Middle School, Rancho Middle School. In fourth place, Slauson Middle School. In third place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Red. In second place, William Diamond Middle School, Team Diamond. And in first place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Black. And now, on awards for Division C. In third place, we have Acton Boxborough Regional High School. In second place, we have Castro Valley High School. And in first place, we have the Bronx High School of Science, Team A. And now on to awards for Dynamic Planet. For Division B, in sixth place, we have Venado Middle School, Team Gold Knights. In fifth place, we have William Diamond Middle School, Team Diamond. In fourth place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Black. In third place, Iolani School, Shower Curtain. In second place, Longfellow Middle School. And in first place, Slauson Middle School. And now on to awards for Division C. In third place, the Bronx High School of Science, Bronx Science A. In second place, Acton Boxborough Regional High School. And in first place, Davidson Academy of Nevada. And now on to awards for electric right stuff. For Division B, in sixth place, Garnet Valley Middle School, Team C. In fifth place, Kennedy Middle School, Team Ruby. In fourth place, Longfellow Middle School. In third place, Slauson Middle School. In second place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Black. And in first place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Red. And now on to awards for right stuff. In third place, we have Lincoln Southwest High School. In second place, we have Cabell Midland High School, Team Scarlet. And in first place, we have Castro Valley High School. And now on to awards for environmental chemistry. In third place, we have Mason High School, Team Green. In second place, we have Acton Boxborough Regional High School. And in first place, we have the Bronx High School of Science, Team B. And now on to experimental design. For Division B, in sixth place, we have Frank S. Green Middle School, Team Blue. In fifth place, we have Slauson Middle School. In fourth place, we have Rancho San Joaquin, Rancho Middle School. In third place, we have Iolani School, Team Shower Curtain. In second place, Stoller Middle School. And in first place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Black. And now on to experimental design, Division C. In third place, we have Gunn High School. In second place, we have the Bronx High School of Science, Team B. And in first place, we have Lincoln Southwest High School. And now on to awards for food science. For in sixth place, we have Longfellow Middle School. In fifth place, we have Boston Latin School. In fourth place, Stoller Middle School. In third place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Red. In second place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Black. And in first place, Rancho San Joaquin Middle School, Team Two. And now on the awards for Green Generation. In Division B, sixth place is Kennedy Middle School, Team Blue. Fifth place is Longfellow Middle School. In fourth place, William Diamond Middle School, Diamond Two. In third place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Red. In second place, Boston Latin School. And in first place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Black. 
And now on awards for Division C. In third place, we have Belmont Public High School. In second place, Acton Boxborough Regional High School. And in first place, the Bronx High School of Science, Bronx Science A. And now on to awards for meteorology. In sixth place, Boston Latin School. In fifth place, Rancho San Joaquin, Rancho Middle School Two. In fourth place, Jonas Clark, Flying Muffins. In third place, Team Sierra Vista, Team Red. In second place, Slauson Middle School. And in first place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Black. And now on awards for remote sensing. In third place, we have the Davidson Academy of Nevada. In second place, we have Belmont Public High School. And in first place, we have Mason High School, Team Green. And now on the awards for Mission Possible. In sixth place, we have Frank S. Green Middle School, Team Blue. In fifth place, we have Rancho San Joaquin Middle School, Rancho Middle School. In fourth place, we have Kennedy Middle School, Kennedy Ruby. In third place, we have Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Black. In second place, we have Frank S. Green Middle School, Team Red. And in first place, Longfellow Middle School. And now on the awards for Mousetrap Vehicle. In sixth place, we have Frank S. Green Middle School, Team Blue. In fifth place, we have Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Red. In fourth place, we have Rancho San, we have Rancho San Joaquin Middle School, Rancho Middle School. In third place, we have Iolani School, Team Shower Curtain. In second place, we have Longfellow Middle School. And in first place, Stoller Middle School. And now on to awards for Gravity Vehicle. In second place, we have Cabell Midland High School, Team Scarlet. And in first place, we have Castro Valley High School. And now on to awards for Ornithology. In Division B, sixth place, we have Slauson Middle School. In fifth place, Rancho San Joaquin Middle School. In fourth place, William Diamond Middle School, Diamond Two. In third place, Jonas Clark, Flying Muffins. In second place, William Diamond Middle School, Team Diamond. And in first place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Black. And now on to awards for Division C. In third place, we have Lake Braddock High School. In second place, Acton Boxborough Regional High School. And in first place, Mason High School, Team Green. And now, awards for Ping Pong Parachute. In Division B, sixth place, we have Alexander Graham Bell Elementary School. In fifth place, Jonas Clark, Flying Muffins. In fourth place, Frank S. Green Middle School, Team Red. In third place, Kennedy Middle School, Kennedy Ruby. In second place, Longfellow Middle School. And in first place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Black. And now on to awards for Division C. In third place, we have Lincoln Southwest High School, Team Southwest. In second place, Lake Braddock High School. And in first place, Castro Valley High School. And now on to awards for Road Scholar. In Division B, sixth place, we have Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Red. In fifth place, we have Frank S. Green Middle School, Team Red. In fourth place, we have Stoller Middle School. In third place, Longfellow Middle School. In second place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Black. And in first place, Venado Middle School, Team Gold Knights. Next, on to our winners for Rocks and Minerals. For Division B, in sixth place, we have Garnet Valley Middle School, Team B. In fifth place, Jonas Clark, Flying Muffins. In fourth place, Frank S. Green Middle School, Team Blue. In third place, Longfellow Middle School. In second place, Rancho San Joaquin Middle School. And in first place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Black. And now on to awards for Division C. In third place, we have Mason High School, Team Green. In second place, we have Acton Boxborough Regional High School. And in first place, we have the Davidson Academy of Nevada. And now on to awards for Solar System. For Division B, in sixth place, Iolani School, Team Shower Curtain. 
In fifth place, Frank S. Green Middle School, Team Blue. In fourth place, Jonas Clark Middle School, Flying Muffins. In third place, Longfellow Middle School. In second place, Stoller Middle School. And in first place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Black. And now on awards for astronomy. In third place, we have the Davidson Academy of Nevada. In second place, Lincoln Southwest High School. And in first place, Mason High School, Team Green. And now on to awards for Sounds of Music. In sixth place, we have Slauson Middle School. In fifth place, we have Iolani School, Shower Curtain. In fourth place, we have William and Diamond Middle School, Diamond Two. In third place, we have Kennedy Middle School, Team Ruby. In second place, we have Longfellow Middle School. And in first place, we have Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Black. And now on to Sounds of Music, once again, but this time only test, so only the written portion. In sixth place, we have William Diamond Middle School, Team Diamond. In fifth place, we have Venado Middle School, Gold Knights. In fourth place, we have Longfellow Middle School. In third place, Iolani School, Team Science O's. In second place, we have Frank S. Green Middle School, Team Blue. And in first place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Black. And now on awards for It's About Time. In third place, we have Acton Boxborough Regional High School. In second place, we have Lincoln Southwest High School, Team Southwest. And in first place, we have Castro Valley High School. And now on the awards for It's About Time Division C, but this time written portion only. In third place, we have Lincoln Southwest High School. In second place, we have Acton Boxborough Regional High School. And in first place, we have Castro Valley High School. Next, on to awards for Storm the Castle. In sixth place, we have Rancho San Joaquin, Rancho Middle School 2. In fifth place, we have North Cumberland, Middle School Team B. In fourth place, we have, Fran we have Frank S. Green Middle School Team Blue. In third place, Longfellow Middle School. In second place, Slauson Middle School. And in first place, Sierra Vista Middle School Team Black. And now on to awards for trajectory. In second place, we have Cabell Midland High School, Team Scarlet. And in first place, we have Casho Valley High School. Next, on to Write It Cat It. For Division B, in sixth place, we have Frank S. Green Middle School, Team Red. In fourth place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Black. In third place, Boston Latin School. In third place, Garnet Valley Middle School, Team B. In second place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Red. And in first place, Longfellow Middle School. And now on to awards for Division C. In third place, we have Belmont Public High School. In second place, we have Castro Valley High School. And in first place, Homestead High School. And now on to awards for our trial events. Thank you everybody for participating in these events and giving the vet supervisors a bit of a laugh. For geophysics, in third place, Gunn High School. In second place, Belmont Public High School. And in first place, the Bronx High School of Science, Team A. And now on to linguistics. In sixth place, North Cumberland Middle School, Team B. In fifth place, Iolani School, Science O's. In fourth place, Frank S. Green Middle School, Team Blue. In third place, Rancho San Joaquin Middle School, Team Two. In second place, Longfellow Middle School. And in first place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Black. And now on the awards for Division C. In third place, Acton Boxborough Regional High School. In second place, Belmont Public High School. And in first place, the Bronx High School of Science. And now on to awards for, mar for marine biology. In third place, we have Acton Boxborough Regional High School. In second place, we have the Bronx High School of Science, Team A. And in first place, Gunn High School. And now on to awards for everything but science. In Division B, in sixth place, we have Longfellow Middle School, Team Longfellow. 
In fifth place, Rancho San Joaquin Middle School, Rancho Middle School 2. In fourth place, Sierra Vista Middle School Team Red. In third place, Iolani Middle School Team Shower Curtain. In second place, Stoller Middle School Team Stoller. And in first place, Jonas Clark Middle School Flying Muffins. And now on to awards for Division C. In third place, we have Acton Boxborough Regional High School. In second place, we have the Bronx High School of Science, Team B. And in first place, we have the Bronx High School of Science, Team A. And now on to awards for science. In Division B, in sixth place, we have Longfellow Middle School, Team Longfellow. In fifth place, we have Iolani Middle School, Team Shower Curtain. In fourth place, we have Rancho San Joaquin Middle School, Team One. In third place, we have Fairmont Private Schools, Anaheim Hills Campus, Team Alpha. In second place, we have Frank S. Green Middle School, Team Blue. And in first place, we have Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Red. And now on to awards for Division C. In third place, we have the Bronx High School of Science, Team B. In second place, Boston Latin School. And in first place, the Bronx High School of Science, Team A. And now on to awards for Science Pun Fun. On the test portion, here is how you guys were ranked. In sixth place, Fairmont Anaheim Hills, Team Alpha. In fifth place, Jonas Clark Middle School, Clarky Barky. In fourth place, Frank S. Green Middle School, Team Red. In third place, Stoller Middle School. In second place, William Diamond Middle School, Team Diamond. And in first place, Jonas Clark Middle School, Clark Flying Muffins. And here are the results from the live round yesterday. In fourth place, we have Stoller Middle School. In third place, we have Frank S. Green Middle School, Team Red. And in second place, we have William Diamond Middle School, Team Diamond. And your Division B Punt-Off Champions of the Year is Jonas Clark Middle School, Team Flying Muffins. And now, on the results for Division C. On the test, in third place, Cabell Midland High School, Team Scarlet. In second place, Belmont High School. And in first place, Acton Boxborough Regional High School. From the live punt-off round last night, in third place, we have Acton Boxborough Regional High School. In second place, Cabell Midland High School, Team Scarlet. And your punt-off champions in Division C for 2022 is Belmont High School. And now on to awards for squatters' rights. In Division B, in sixth place, North Cumberland Middle School, Team B. In fifth place, Frank S. Green Middle School, Team Blue. In fourth place, Jonas Clark Middle School, Flying Muffins. In third place, Longfellow Middle School. In fourth place, Frank S. Green Middle School, Team Red. And in first place, Rancho San Joaquin Middle School, Team Two. As far as pre-builds go, in sixth place, we have Frank S. Green Middle School, Team Blue. In fifth place, Jonas Clark Middle School, Team Flying Muffins. In fourth place, Sierra Vista Middle School, Team Red. In third place, Rancho San Joaquin Middle School, Rancho Middle School. In second place, North Cumberland Middle School, Team B. And in first place, Rancho San Joaquin Middle School, Rancho Middle School 2. For squatters rights in Division C, we had only one competing school. So the three members of this team competed against themselves. In third place is Veluse. In second place is Nir. And in first place is Tommy from Castro Valley High School. Throughout this tournament, some of your event supervisors joined an exhibition team called Lexhibition Team to take the test for fun. They placed fairly well. They got first place in experimental design, first place in everything but science, first place in geophysics, second place in code busters, second place in marine biology, and eighth place in forensics. However, this team, because they're an exhibition team, they were not counted in any of the final team scores. And finally, on to team awards. For Division B, with builds, in 10th place, from the state of California, Rancho San Joaquin Middle School. In 9th place, from the state of Massachusetts, William and Diamond Middle School. In 8th place, from the state of California, Kennedy Middle School. In 7th place, from the state of Hawaii, Iolani Middle School. In 6th place, from the state of Oregon, Stoller Middle School. 
In fifth place, from the state of Massachusetts, Jonas Clark Middle School. In fourth place, from the state of California, Slauson Middle School. In third place, from the state of California, Frank S. Green Middle School. In second place, from the state of Virginia, Longfellow Middle School. And in first place, from the state of California, Sierra Vista Middle School. You guys will be shipped a 3D printed trophy to your school sometime within the next month or so. And now, on the team awards for Division B, without builds. In 10th place, we have Rancho San Joaquin Middle School. In 9th place, Kennedy Middle School. In 8th place, Iolani Middle School. In 7th place, William Diamond Middle School. In 6th place, Jonas Clark Middle School. In 5th place, Slauson Middle School. In 4th place, Frank S. Green Middle School. In 3rd place, Stoller Middle School. In 2nd place, Longfellow Middle School. And in 1st place, Sierra Vista Middle School. And now, on to awards for Division C. When ranked with builds, in 5th place, from the state of Nevada, we have Davidson Academy. In 4th place, from the state of Nebraska, Lincoln Southwest High School. In 3rd place, from the state of New York, the Bronx High School of Science. In 2nd place, from the state of Massachusetts, Belmont Public High School. And in 1st place, from the state of California, Castro Valley High School. You guys will also be getting a trophy mailed to your school sometime within the next month. When ranked without builds, in 5th place, from the state of Virginia, Lake Braddock High School. In 4th place, from the state of Massachusetts, Acton Boxborough Regional High School. In 3rd place, from the state of Nevada, Davidson Academy. In 2nd place, from the state of New York, the Bronx High School of Science. And in 1st place, from the state of Massachusetts, Belmont Public High School. And that's it for our awards. Thank you guys for attending this invitational. Uh, graded tests and full results will be released at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time on our website. Public score distributions and test PDFs will be released by May 1st. And please fill out the feedback form on our website. Thank you guys for coming and we all hope to see you next year.